What's up everybody? I'm Kimberly B as you can clearly see below and today I'm showing you guys how I transformed my TWA into these long Balance braids. I went from damn to glam, from goddamn to goddamn, okay? <laughs> I'm playing too much today. But anyways, I recently big chopped my hair on January 31st of 2019. And I'm just showing you guys the process, how I braid the back of my head, how I managed to try to get my parts as clean as possible in the back. Um, yeah, and just some tips about braiding your hair when it's so short. This video was recorded in August, not August, excuse me, April, April 3rd of 2019. This is when this footage is from. I know it's July now that I'm finally posting it, but it just came out so cute. And I had so much fun with these dang on braids. Like I was like, I need to post it anyway. So thank you all so much for watching. I hope that you might be able to take something from this and leave me some comments and yeah. No, this true the type that like to keep them on the leash though. I'm known to walk alone, but I'm alone for a reason. Free and easy collection braid of hair. It is the Kankalon, Kanekalon hair, whatever you like to call it. Um, I think it's called Kankalon. But basically, I had two packs of that ombre hair. And then the rest of the hair I had was all in the color 27. Because I wanted my hair to be predominantly blonde. I wanted to, you know, have me like some lemonade braids or whatever. And as you can see, I was counting to see how many packs I had. It looks like four, five, six. Dang, I lost my count. But yeah, I'll mention below what kind, how many packs of hair I have basically. <clears throat> so as you saw, we have our moisturizers. I have Africa's Best Herbal Oil, and this is Africa's Best Super Grow. I love to put that on my hair whenever I'm doing braids or if I'm just parting my hair to give extra moisture. I also have that Murray's Beeswax, and that just helps me to gather my hair up. I have some water, of course, and that spray bottle over there. And that's for extra moisture because my hair go my hair dries out pretty fast after I wash my hair. So you know you want to keep it moisturized because it's easier to work with it. And then other than that, we just have some combs, some clips, and a little edges tool if you choose to use that. So that's basically it for our what do we need products, you know. So all right, you guys. So from this point, you just want to make sure that your hair is freshly washed and moisturized before you even get started. Basically today I'm using the LCOS method, well minus the S because I don't really have a sealant and since I'm doing braids I don't necessarily need one. Well okay I won't say that natural hair community please don't come after me. I'm just playing but <laughs> basically liquid cream oil sealant. My liquid is water, my cream is whatever moisturizer you want to use. I'll mention below the last product that I had used, I forgot to mention it earlier within the um, in the intro about what products I'm using just check out the description box for that and then uh, my oil is the herbal oil that I had showed you guys before so I'm just evenly dispersing that throughout my hair and also I'm gonna take that wide tube comb and I'm gonna brush it through just so that I have an even distribution of product now here, I take the hair straight out of the packet. I don't cut it at all. That's how they're so long. And you always want to make sure that you're pulling the ends of the hair. If you fail to do so, your braids may unravel when you go to dip them in the hot water. So as you can see here, I'm just sectioning off my hair. Um, at first when I started off, I didn't know exactly how I was going to do my parting, but I ended up doing my parting pretty neat. But basically, I just got a section of hair. And in order to start my braid, I do a U-shape with the hair. So your braid is basically two pieces on synthetic hair, and then the third strand is your natural hair. And I braid that and I maintain the tension um, on that area so that the synthetic hair does not slip down the braid until I braid it far enough down the braid where I can kind of, you know, just loosen up, you know, and just, you know, just, just go at it. So I was so excited. I did not think I was going to be able to grip my hair, but I managed to, boo. Oh my gosh, you know. So yeah, from there I just continued on and I will meet you guys on day two. And here we are. So this took me eight hours to do. I was like frustrated and tired. I really was. But, but so yeah, from there I just continued on and I will meet you guys on day two. And here we are. So this took me eight hours to do. I was like frustrated and tired. I really was. But basically, whenever you basically take a break from doing your hair, I like to go back in with some water and a little bit of moisturizer of your choice in order to get that hair going. So I am about to show you guys how I do the back. 
So hey you guys, it's day two. Um, so I just put my hair up in a bun and I actually am gonna start on the back. I just left this section over here alone because it was like easier for me to see the front. So I'm like, okay, let me get the hard stuff done first, which is the back. And the whole time, I always use this little mirror. So anyways though, I just used two mirrors in order to see the back. So I'm still going with my blonde hair and I'm gonna section off a uh, hair size section once again. But before I even get started, I'm gonna set that to the side and I'm gonna try to wet my hair. Because for me, it's easier to manipulate my hair when it's wet. I use a little bit of my um, Supergirl conditioner on the section that I'm getting ready to do to soften it up because it got like dry and matted overnight, of course. So this here is simply my parting process. I use the mirror as I had said before and I really do it mostly by feel and you just got to keep checking between the two mirrors to see if it looks fairly decent and keep it pushing. Don't think about it too much. But anyways, basically you take the hair, I don't do any like T squares or anything like that. I just take the hair in like a loop and I just simply loop that around my section of hair. So you'll have three parts to start. You have your real hair and then the two sides of the loops and you just start braiding. So. For doing the back of your braids, it's, it's truly more by like feel. You just gotta feel it and then, you know, check and see as you go if it looks okay. So, most of it's just by touch. Cause who's about to keep on putting the mirror back there? Not me. So yeah. And now I'm just braiding. I love when I can finally twist my head to the side so I gotta keep going back over. Doing braids is a whole workout. I might as well just turn right. Be a show off my Beyonce locks. My Beyonce. I ain't Beyonce with it now. This is just the Balance locks. This is the Balance. Okay. Balance locks. I really just been talking about whatever. Don't mind me. This is the end of the first braid that I, well, not the first braid, because I did like three braids back here before. So yeah, this is one of my braids it's in the back. And I just wrap it around there and.
All right, y'all. So this is basically our completed look. I want to thank everybody so much for watching. Thank you to those who have subscribed. And also, I thank y'all for um, the feedback that I have received on videos. This TWA is braidable. Y'all's are too. If you want some braids, do it, girl. Okay. So I hope that this inspired y'all in some way or helped y'all within your own processes. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.